Hello everyone, just Gorn here and welcome to another quick trick tutorial. Well, maybe not so quick this time because today we are going to be looking at how to make seamless billboard backgrounds using multiple billboards. Uh, we'll be looking at two scenarios or actually three of them as you can see and we'll have uh, the simple scenario which is a bunch of billboards in a row without any overlap and we have both a square and rectangular variants for those uh, and we'll also be looking at this scenario which is um, a scenario in which your wall has kind of a weird length and one billboard or two billboards don't really fit exactly so you have to overlap the billboards to get your desired result and um, we're going to look at what you can do to make this as seamless as possible uh, like you can see over here. So for this tutorial, you are going to need an image editing program. I like using paint.net uh, because the images that it outputs are immediately usable in Planet Zoo. Uh, they don't have that weird brightness issue that you have to resave your image for. Uh, if you're using a different image editing program and you run into that issue, uh, check out my tutorial on how to get rid of that uh, right over in the corner somewhere. It should pop up. I don't know. <laughs> Something else that's also nice to have for making these backgrounds is Ansel. This is a tool that is available to you if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. It's not required, but it allows you to make high resolution screenshots. And since we are going to be cutting up the screenshots to put them on each of the billboards, and that's going to really benefit uh, since you won't end up with these very low resolution whatevers. I'll provide a link to somewhere you can download paint.net in the description. And uh, yeah, Ansel, you have it or you don't, I'm pretty sure. So uh, I'm sorry if you don't. If you do, nice, awesome, have fun. Uh, anyway, let's get started. First, let's set up our billboards as it's nice to know in advance what sort of shape we're dealing with and how many pictures we will need. I like using square billboards since they're a little bit easier to work with later on, but I'll show you how you can deal with rectangular billboards as well if those are uh, what you need for your situation. Anyway, uh, let's do something like this. So we have five little billboards in a bit of a curve because, you know, that's just cool. And also on this side, we have our um, special case, which is two square billboards kind of inside one another. Well, deal with that later on but starting off with this one uh, of course we are going to uh, need a background image to put on this of course you could get a picture or a photo off the internet but I prefer using uh, planet zoo screenshots since I find that real images look a little out of place in the game so let's take a nice screenshot of a planet zoo landscape uh, we can build one ourselves or we can use the Steam Workshop. There's lots of cool maps on the Workshop you can use. For instance, the Planet Wild series by ZSH Plays. Uh, you can see over here, he has tons of cool maps of naturalistic landscapes from all over the world. Uh, I'll leave a link to this uh, Workshop collection as well as the YouTube series in the description so you can check that out. But feel free to look on the Workshop for anything uh, that you think is useful. Right now we are in the Planet Wild Australian Outback map and I think this right here could be a really really cool background. So let's press Alt F2 to bring up Ansel and in Ansel we can play around with some filters uh, to like change this picture to get it to look like something that we uh, like. I for one I love adding the painterly filter to make the picture or our background eventually uh, actually look like it was painted onto the wall. Now you can see that I painted a little extreme and I'll explain why I did that in a second. Uh, because uh, the filters are not the main reason that I like using Ansel. Uh, one of the huge benefits that it has is actually that we can uh, over here capture a super resolution photo. This is super useful because we later want to cut this image into little pieces, one piece for each of our billboards. So if we take a regular screenshot, this works, but the cut up pieces will have a pretty low resolution and that might not be enough for uh, the billboards that we want. So by taking a, a high resolution photo, I usually put it on four times as much just to give us a lot of like leeway basically like this is more than we'll ever need but at least that way we'll have a lot of freedom uh, in what we'll do later and as i mentioned before i put the painterly effect 
pretty high, like it looks really blurry now, because when we take our super resolution screenshot, it's basically going to make many regular screenshots and stitch them together. And every one of those screenshots is going to have this effect applied. But because the larger picture is going to be bigger than this, it will actually not be as blurry as it is now. So that's why I put it pretty blurry, because if I don't, then uh, the final image is going to look just super sharp and you're barely going to see the effect. So you'll see what I mean later. It's probably going to take you a couple tries to get right. So just, you know, just play around with it until you get an image that you're happy with, and then we'll move to the next step. So I'm going to snap this one and see if I'm happy with it. And as you can see here, the painterly effect is a lot better already for each of these images. Now let's look at the result. With Ansel, you have to probably go to your videos folder and then there should be a folder Planet Zoo. Uh, and that will have all of your Ansel things. The super resolution screenshots are usually in the back. And uh, what we have over here is looking pretty good. Like the painterly filter definitely comes through on the grass and stuff here and on the mountains in the back. And we have a really nice wide view. Now something that I forgot to do, which I do uh, usually like quite a bit, um, is actually to, let's get our settings back, <clears throat> is to increase the field of view. This is going to like get you a lot more width. It's going to kind of bend the horizon a little bit, which especially if you have like a curved background is actually quite nice. So I'm just going to do something like this. You no, you don't really want to go all the way because it's going to really distort it. Uh, but something in this range. Again, it's just something that you kind of have to just try out a couple of times and see what works for you. Um, but I'm going to try this and I think this will be quite nice. So yeah, as you can see, we have quite a lot more of the horizon, like this tree and this mountain is now on here. Everything feels a little bit further away, which for something that is a background is actually quite nice. So I do like that. I'm going to use this and we're going to go to the next step. So in our next step, we are going to open our image editing program, which for me is paint.net, as I mentioned, and we're going to make a new file. And what we want to do is make this file the resolution of our billboards. So not just one billboard, I mean billboards, all of them. Uh, since I have five billboards in a row that are uh, all square, uh, and I want their resolution to be about 500 by 500 pixels, uh, I'm going to make this file 2500 pixels in width for all five of our billboards and of course 500 in height. Make sure you have maintain aspect ratio off because otherwise it'll mess it up. <laughs> but yeah, this is the full width of our background. Now 500 by 500 pixels is not a lot. You can go for something higher. I like to kind of lowball it a little bit because I don't want uh, the billboards to take up too much performance because I would feel like a high resolution would take away your performance. Uh, but yeah, if you don't like it, if, if it is not sharp enough for you, you can increase the resolution if you don't run into any issues. Uh, again, I think this works just fine. Um, for larger billboards, like if you're using an 8 meter billboard or uh, like the 32 meter one, you definitely do want to have a higher resolution. But yeah, I think for a 4 by 4 meter billboard, uh, this is fine. So with our resolution decided, we are going to grab that image that we just took and we're going to just drag that in here. We don't want to add it as a layer because that will uh, kind of expand the canvas into the size of that image that we took, which is, you know, pretty big. So we're just going to open it in a separate tab. We're going to control A to select everything, control C to copy it, which takes a little while because it's a big thing. And then we're going to paste it and make sure to keep the canvas size because you know that's the resolution that we set. Now as you can see the picture that we took is <laughs> it's a little big um, but that gives us a lot of freedom to kind of play around with it. So I think something like this is actually already a pretty perfect background but let's see what it looks like if we just get everything in here if we just kind of you know squash that in. I think that is actually really really cool. Yes, I absolutely love this. This is, I love how long the horizon is for this one. Anyway, <laughs> we're not here to admire this picture. Let's keep going with the tutorial. So we're going to put that in. That is our full background. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And yeah, you can see this is a, an older take. <laughs> Let's just go in for try to. Uh, and this will be a full billboard. 
And I want to save this so that we can always go back to it in case we ever want to redo it or just anything really. And now uh, when it comes to uh, cutting up this image, so we're going to cut this up one image for each of our billboards. If like me, you are using uh, square billboards, this is actually the easiest because all you have to do is just start clicking somewhere in here with the select tool and hold shift to make it a square selection. And then you can just drag to the bottom here and bam, that is your first billboard. So you can go to edit or no, sorry, image crop to selection or control shift X and then we'll only have that image. Now we can save as uh, billboard one, save that, save that, control Z to undo that. And we can select the next portion over here. So control scroll to zoom in. So you have a little bit more precision and then we get the next square control shift X, save as, billboard two. And now we just keep doing this over and over until we have every file done. And there we go. That is actually all. So we can now take all of these images and add them to our user media folder and put them on in the game. And there we have it in game. So as you can see, everything lines up pretty perfectly and there's nothing much we have to do to make it work. So that is how you can do it. <laughs> and as we get close to it, you can even see some of that paint the effect shining through. And uh, yeah, I think this looks really, really cool. So that is with square billboards. But uh, of course, if you're using rectangular billboards, um, it is a little more difficult, um, but there's actually an easy way to get around that. So when using uh, rectangular billboards, I like to go for resolutions that are similar to screen resolutions. For instance, 1280 by 720 uh, is a pretty common one. So let's say that we have uh, three of those um, side by side. So we'll have to go 1280 by three is, uh, well, this much. <laughs> So we'll make a file that is that much by 720 and that will be our file that we put our picture into. So same as before, keep canvas size, none of this stuff changes. Ooh. The thing that changes when using a rectangular background, of course, is that you can't do this. So what we'll do instead is we'll take this file, which is the resolution of a single billboard and we'll just Copy that, we'll go add a new layer to our file and we'll paste it. We'll add a new layer, we'll paste it again. Uh, this time we will line it up over there and we'll add another layer and do one more paste. There we go. So now we have uh, one layer for each of our images. So we're gonna go to the first one. We're gonna get the magic wand tool and we're gonna just click that first image. We're gonna do this. So we're gonna crop to selection like before, and we're gonna hide that layer that we made. And now we can save this as a PNG and it will be a rectangle one. Uh, it is going to ask us to flatten the image because we made it uh, have multiple layers, but there we go. That's rectangle one. We'll just undo that and undo all of that. Then we can select the second picture. Make sure you are on the right layer and then crop to selection again, hide, export that as a PNG. Make sure you hit PNG because otherwise you can't put it in the game, etc., etc. So same steps. That is how you can do it for uh, rectangles. At least this is what I think is the easiest way to do it. And here you can see what those look like. So these are the uh, rectangles and yeah, it's really the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, works exactly the same, but uh, it's a little more, a few more steps. So that's why I like using the squares. So that's how we can make the backgrounds. If you have a simple wall where the billboards don't overlap, but what if we have 
a wall where the regular billboard just doesn't quite fit in and we need to overlap them. Well, it's actually not that hard, but again, there are a few more steps to it. So uh, let's take this wall into the air for a little moment. And what we're going to have to do if we want to do this is line up our camera perfectly with these billboards. So we're going to do as well as we can. You know, you need to be as precise as possible, but also if it's not 100% correct, it won't have that many implications. And what we're going to select one of these billboards. We're going to make a screenshot. We're going to select the other billboard and we're going to make a screenshot. And that is what we're going to use to um, create these things. So we're going to go back to paint.net and we're going to um, open up our image actually, just a full image, the high resolution one, and that works the best. Then we're going to go to our Planet Zoo screenshots folder. If you don't have those bookmarks, you really should. It's so much more convenient. But we're going to take those images that we just took. And this time we are going to add them as layers. Then we will cut these layers into pieces. So I'm going to select the entire billboard right around to that edge there's a little white outline which i feel like is slightly bigger than the billboard itself uh, and now what i'm going to do is hit Control i that is going to invert the selection at least in paint.net uh, if you're using a different program you have to figure out what the command is in yours and we're going to press delete then i'm going to do uh, i wish i could keep that selection but apparently that's not an option so we're just going to go ahead and make the same selection over here and something like that. Let me go to the other layer and whoops, I want to <laughs> invert it first. We're going to get rid of that one as well. So here we have our two billboards. Um, so we need to kind of figure out what do we want on them. Well, let's say we want something like this. We could also increase their size or kind of do whatever we think works. But yeah, actually, let's do that because Let's say we wanted a bigger picture on here. We'd have to increase this thing in size. So let's say something like that. Then we're going to take the other one. And it's actually easier to resize it if we do it like this. So we're going to select it. Resize it. So let's move it onto the other one. Like so. And just drag that so that there the exact same again. And now, because we made those two selections earlier, we now have exactly uh, the two billboards cut out for us. So what we can do is, if we hit the background over here, select just the blue area, like this, and if we have the background selected, we can Control C and let's just paste that into a new file over here and then we'll take the other billboard and we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to select only the blue area like that. On the background Control C, let's make a new file and now we can resize these to whatever we want. So let's maintain the aspect ratio. I want them to be 500 by 500 again. So oh, they might be slightly off, like 501 or 499. It's fine. Like that one pixel will just stretch out over the billboard and you won't really have any issues with it. So uh, we can save this and let's just save that straight to the user media folder for convenience. So overlap one and overlap two. Of course, you have to name these whatever works for you. Uh, but now we have our overlapping billboards over here and I can go in and take overlap one and I can take overlap two and as you can see they work perfectly fine. There's a little jitter in the middle over here that's just Z fighting. We can get rid of this like so. Looks so like they don't line up exactly perfectly but we can kind of fix that by moving the billboards around and like covering that up. So that is how you can deal with overlapping billboards. It's the best way that I've found so far. So hope that was clear as well.
So what I thought might be interesting for you to see is that you can take this as far as you want. For instance, this is my setup for the tropical aviary in the latest St. Reginald uh, video that I did. And I have uh, six billboards over here and a lot of them overlap to get the uh, dimensions of the room just right. So you can see over here on the right, I have these two billboards in the middle. I have or on the left, I have these two. Uh, in the middle, I have these two. And I even, um, you can't see it anymore, but I took a third screenshot that had both the small billboards at the top and the large billboard over here, uh, so that when placing the billboards into this image, I uh, had a reference point to what their relation should be, so that everything lined up exactly right. So yeah, you can do really cool stuff with this. You can go all crazy and make all sorts of things. I think if you wanted to, you could even like put diagonal billboards in here and try to line those up properly. Uh, yeah, you can go <laughs> all sorts of crazy, but um, that's how it's done. So that is how you can make all sorts of seamless billboard backgrounds in Planet Zoo using Ansel and Paint.net. Um, hope this was clear to you, hope you found it useful, uh, I'll see you in the next Quick Tricks tutorial. <laughs> I hope the next one is a bit quicker than this. Bye-bye! <laughs>